All right, are you looking to make a slideshow, a video slideshow on a PC or a Mac, or really any device for that matter? I'm about to show you how. The app is called Canva and it's free. I'm Kurt with Teach Mom How. Let's get started. Um, so instead, I'm gonna show you an option that's browser-based, meaning for making a movie with photos and uh, music. Uh, browser based meaning you just use the internet and so you can do this on a PC or a Mac which is kinda cool and it's an app called Canva which is free with a paid version as well but you don't need the paid version for what I'm gonna show you alright so go to Google Chrome or whatever browser you like to use Google Chrome works well with this and go to canva.com c-a-n-v-a dot com okay in canva.com you're simply going to uh, log in. You can log in with your Google or your Facebook account. So it's real easy if you haven't ever set up a uh, what you call it. If you haven't ever set up an account, you also can very easily create little graphics in here. But you're going to click Create a Design. You're going to scroll down and find the one called Video, right here, Video. There's templates you can use here for the purpose of our show. Our video, we're not going to worry about these templates. We're just going to add our pictures. So go to Uploads and click Upload Media. So there's a couple ways you can upload. You can upload straight from your device. Um, by clicking on Device, navigating to the folder that holds all of your uh, pictures, which you're using for this slideshow. And if you don't know how to get your pictures onto your device or you have no idea where they're at on your device, uh, on your computer, then go and watch the video where I show you how to gather your, your photos and your videos for your slideshow or for your video. Go back and watch that. The link is in the description or I may even have a link on the screen of this video that you can click. All right, so once you're in there, um, you're going to want to navigate to your pictures that you've prepared for this slideshow. Select whichever ones you want by clicking on them while holding Shift or Command and then click Open. And that's going to upload those to you. Something else that's cool, and I actually honestly recommend that you only make Canva slideshows if you're using pictures that are already on Facebook or Instagram because it's way easy. Instead of uploading these, Click Upload Media and choose either Facebook or Instagram. And uh, you can connect to your Instagram account. And it'll show all the pictures that you've put on Instagram. So this makes it real easy. Now, all we're going to do is drag whatever pictures we want in this slideshow down to these slides right here. And so again, this is a really easy way to get your stuff off of Instagram or Facebook and make them into a little nifty little slideshow. Okay, then there's not a lot of customizing you can do with these. You can crop these, like move them around. If you double click on an image, you can move where it's at. Okay. Or if if rather than rather than dragging it straight into here, if you just click like add new and you drag it onto here, then you have a little bit more control. You can change the size of the image and decide where it sees and whatnot. All right. All right. Now, when we click on these images, we can add a little bit of an animation, kind of like we did in iMovie, and kind of like how Photos does automatically for, for us that Ken Burns effect. You can adjust these by double clicking on them. Sorry, you gotta click on it and then double click in here and you can adjust what's actually seen. Okay. 
you can add a little bit of an effect you can adjust colors and things like that when you're in on something like this by clicking this zoom button and my options and I can apply this to all the pages if I'd like to I can do a zoom or a rise is where it slides a zoom is where it zooms in okay apply to all pages we'll do a zoom So again, how I edit that zoom is I click this, double click on the image, sorry, click on the image, and then click the zoom button. And I can choose if I want the photo animation, if I want to animate or do the photo animation, which these are what you're going to do. You're going to do either a, a zoom, a flow, or a rise, okay, and apply it to all pages. Unless you want it to be different on any, every page, then you'll select this, all right. We'll just go with zooms for simplicity. And now, I just need to add some music to this slideshow. There's really not much I can do beyond that. It's not very customizable. I can add more photos, and I can add music. So, I can get music two places. I can click on the audio here, and they have some royalty-free music right built into Canva that I can use. The catch is the majority of it, you've got to pay for it. Okay, If it's got this crown, you've got to pay for it. So, if you click free, it'll pull up all the ones that are free, which <laughs> it lied, it didn't. It's supposed to pull up the free ones, but it didn't. So the only free one I've found is this. If you click and drag that onto your slideshow, it's going to add it to the video. If you decide you don't want that slideshow or that music, then you just click this and delete it. Or you can take a clip of music that you've already downloaded to your computer, go back and watch the video on how to download music to your computer um, that's earlier in this tutorial go down in the description and click the link to learn how to download music or I may have a link right on this video that shows you how to do this and then once it's downloaded to your computer you're just gonna find it in your uh, browser in your finder if you're using a Mac it's your window folder I don't know what they call these, I think Windows on a, on a PC. Um, you're going to find that audio file and you're going to upload it to Canva to use it here. And the way you'll do that is you go to Uploads and get back here. You have the option to upload images, videos, or audio. So go to Audio, find one of your music files, and click and drag it into the audio and it will upload it there. And now I can add one of these songs that I already downloaded to my computer. Again, if you don't know how to download these to your computer, go down to the description or click the link on this video if I remember to add it. Go down to the description and go to the video that's about how to download music. And that will show you how to do that, okay? It's in the description. It will take you to that chapter. But now we're ready to go. This is how I preview this. I push this little play button right here. And if I'm happy with that, then I'm good to go. I just click this little download button right here. And that's going to download my um, video. I want all the pages because they're all in my slideshow. Click download and it's going to prepare this to download it. And once it's downloaded to my computer, I can then do what I want with it. I can share it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So now here's how you upload this video to YouTube. If you need help uploading this video to YouTube or Facebook, go down into the chapters in the description and there'll be chapters that you can skip to that will show you how to upload or videos you can skip to that will show you how to upload the videos to Facebook or YouTube.